Good morning everybody. Today I'm here in the Brecon Beacons in South Wales about to start a challenge called the Welsh Three Peaks Challenge. I'm going to be summiting the top three mountains in height I believe in all of Wales main mountain regions. So we've got a penny fan here uh, in the Brecon Beacons then we're going to move on to Cader Idris uh, in South Snowdonia. Then obviously we're going to finish it off with the monster in North Wales in North Snowdonia. Mount Snowden itself. So, 6 a.m. at the moment, the weather's looking absolutely lovely. We're gonna head up Penny Fan and see what happens on this first mountain. Let's go! So first on the list I have Penny Fan, which I'm currently ascending now. It stands 886 meters. I parked all the way down there in the Stormy Arms car park and I made my way along to the start of this trail. I believe the route I'm taking is called the motorway. Um, and it's so busy already. I started at 6 a.m. and the car park was almost full. People coming down and going up uh, in big packs. It's really busy. So if you want to do this um, in the summer on a weekend or on a bank holiday, which is what it currently is, I recommend that you get down here very early. What exactly makes the Welsh Three Peaks Challenge a challenge? Well, funnily enough, online I couldn't seem to find a concrete answer when it comes to what the time goal is. Uh, in which you have to summit all three of these mountains. So I found some places saying 24 hours, others saying 12 hours. So today I'm literally just in it to ascend all the mountains and descend them in my own time and have some fun along the way. Check those views out. That is what it's all about, guys. When you're up here this early in the morning, it's about half six now. The sky is blue, the birds sing, and it doesn't look like there's gonna be a speck of bad weather in sight. How can you complain? And there we have it guys, the summit of Penny Fern. Got up here relatively quick to be honest. So uh, first mountain down, we're gonna head back down, get back in the car and go back down to Kadir Idris, which is in South Macedonia. I've got to say with views like that on a day like this, it is pretty tough to literally just be summiting this mountain and then come straight back down again. But last August or September, I believe, I did actually do the Brecon Beacons Horseshoe Circuit, which is on my channel, so check that out. I'll leave the link in the description. And I have more than enough time to enjoy these beautiful views in this fantastic area of natural beauty, because that's what it is. Okay, back on the track, down the mountain we go. Terrain wise, this has actually been quite a nice route. It's been a gravelly path for the majority of the way up via this motorway route, I believe it is, um, up Penny Fan. But I'm pretty sure the other two routes are a little bit more rocky, a bit more tricky on the feet. And I believe at Kedir Idris, there's a load of steep inclines, which I'm sure would be a big challenge. Well, there you have it, the first mountain done. We just got back down to the bottom of Penny Fan in a time of one hour and 19 minutes. 
happy with that. I'm gonna make my way back to the car, get driving now to South Snowdonia for part two. And here we are at the start of Kader Idris, South Snowdonia. Took about two and a half hours to get here and it's about 10 past 10 in the morning. So we're making pretty decent time. About to start climbing this one. Looking forward to it, never done this before. So let's give it a crack. So I'm going up via the Pony Path, which I believe is the most popular route up to the top of Kader Idris. And already it's extremely tough. Steep steps, massive inclines. But I'm sure it'll pay off with a couple of uh, smoother sections uh, once we get a little bit higher, hopefully. But yeah, lovely scenery so far. Look at that. We're a mile up now and it is a long hard slog this one. I've already had to take my jacket off because I'm sweating buckets. It's very hot right now, but it's always better to bring a jacket and then have the option to take it off rather than think it's just gonna be hot and then wish you would have bought a jacket in another scenario. So uh, some wise top tips there. So that monster in front of us, I'm guessing, is Kadir Idris. Unless there's another massive mountain lurking behind the shadow somewhere. This mountain has felt so much harder than Penny Fan this morning. Even though this mountain is nine meters taller than Penny Fan, standing at 893 meters, it just feels like a colossal slog compared to this morning. And I wonder if that is because this mountain starts much closer to sea level compared to uh, penny fan which i did earlier on i'll have to check that out when i get home but this has felt so much harder already but it's all right this has been a nice smooth section it's even things out a bit and uh we're just gonna keep plowing on onwards We'll be eating rocks for breakfast before we know it. God. Ankle breaking section, one wrong move, that's you done. There we have it at the top of Kadir Idris, number two down. That was pretty tough, not gonna lie. Right, let's get back down into the car on the way to Mount Snowden, let's go.
I just strayed off route about 100 meters or so and then I looked at my watch where I've got the route loaded up into and I come back onto the path. Overall I'd say these two mountains are very well pathed if that's even a word. Um, I haven't really needed to look at my watch at all except for that little uh, excursion I just had but I'd highly recommend it to anyone else if you're going to do a mountain like this load it up into your watch um, if you can if you have a smart watch that lets you do that I've got my Garmin um, just gives you that peace of mind in case you need to know where you're going And we're back at the bottom of Kadir Idris. It took me in total two hours and 19 minutes. I'm not gonna lie, that arm was pretty hard, really steep steps, scraggly rocks at the top, um, and loads and loads of steep hills and inclines. So, a little bit more tired now, but we've got one more mountain to go. We're gonna get back into the car, head to Mount Snowdon, and I'm gonna take on part three of the Welsh Three Peaks Challenge. So it's 25 past two and I've just set off on the miners path at Mount Snowden. Had a little bit of a right faff just there. I arrived in the Penny Pass car park and apparently it's booking only which I had no idea about so I had to drive three miles down the road to a park and ride and get a taxi in which delayed me by about 25 minutes unfortunately. So if you're doing this in the future make sure you check if uh, you need to pay for parking on that particular day in advance and book it. Don't make my mistake. Today is going to be my fourth ascent of Mount Snowdon. I've done it twice via the Lambris path, which is the main tourist one on the other side. I've done it once via the Watkins path, which is on my channel. That was a pretty tricky ascent with loads of scrambling, but I've never actually done it by the Miners path. On the way up here, the taxi driver said that even though the Miners path is slightly longer than the Pig path, which starts at the same place, the views are much better, according to him. So I've got those to look forward to, and they've been pretty decent so far, to be honest with you, as you've already seen. Today it's absolutely packed with tons of people climbing and descending via the miners path so it's obviously a very popular one for people that decide to give Mount Snowden a go. I'm getting a little bit nervous now. So we're 2.1 miles in and we haven't really had any incline whatsoever and we've got to get all the way up there. So I'm guessing any moment now, we're gonna have incline after incline it's gonna be really steep. So best get ready.
definitely spoke too soon the steps literally arrived as soon as i was complaining about it being too uh, tame on the path and flat but check out these views again the uh, taxi driver certainly wasn't lying when he said this was a view packed route Oh, this section's really tough, loads of steep rocks, having to climb and scramble over them. Path's not 100% clear all the time, but um, we're making good progress. And that's where um, the pig path there joins with the miners path here. So uh, at least you know we're on the right track. And there you have it, we're on the summit of Snowdon. I'm not going to wait in the queue because this is going to take about 20 minutes to get the size of it. It's the busiest I've ever seen it in Snowdon in my four times of climbing it. I'm going to head back down to the car park, finish this Three Peaks challenge in Wales. Let's go. You can see those paths down there. That is the miners track and that's the little beach we was at earlier, if you remember. It seems so far away because it is so far away. It's gonna be a fun journey back to the bottom. Right, let's go. When we was coming up this track, this part in particular, just after the uh, nice section and when it, got, when it got really rocky, it was so hard to see the actual track. And a lot of the times I was doing double takes, but looking at it from the top to the bottom, it looks a lot easier. And it's always the case for some reason, uh, when you hike up these mountains, for me anyway. And there we go, we are back where we started. Hello guys, when I went to record the outro for this video, my GoPro ran out of battery, so I'm now back at my hotel for the evening and I've just got a fresh battery into the GoPro. So, here we are. Well, I finished Mount Snowdon in a time of three hours and 16 minutes, and my overall time for the entire challenge from start to finish was 11 hours and 45 minutes. I started in the Brecon Beacons this morning, walking up Penny Fan at five minutes to six, and I ended today at 20 to six in the evening at Mount Snowdon. I'm not sure, like I said, what the official time was after this challenge, 12 hours or 24 hours, but if it's 12 hours, I'm happy to say that I've beaten the challenge. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it was really tough. And I've got to say, a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. In terms of which mountains I thought were the toughest, it would probably be easiest to hardest, the ones I did from the start to the finish. So the Brecon Beacons, Penny Fam is probably the easiest. 
Um, there was a few minor steep bits, but the path was really nice, really easy to see where you were going. It's just a really nice mountain. Kadir Idris was really steep, loads of inclines. It was a little bit sketchy on your feet sometimes, but other than that, it wasn't too much of an issue. It was obviously a lot bigger um, duration-wise compared to Penny Fan. But the minus path at Mount Snowden, that blew them all out of the water. Um, it was a lot longer, so I clocked up about eight miles in total, I think, um, which is a lot more than the other two. And the path was really tough. The second half was really, really technical. I almost lost where I was going sometimes because it was just really hard to follow the path. Um, and you could easily twist an ankle if you're not, if you're not careful. So um, definitely thought that was the hardest out of the lot. But um, that was because maybe I was there at the very end of the day. Who knows? Maybe it would have been different if I started on that. Probably not. But yeah, done. The Welsh Three Peaks. It was a blast. I would highly recommend it to anybody else. If you're going to take on the National Three Peaks Challenge, which I tried last August, I think this is a brilliant training run. It's a shorter scale challenge and the mountains are more or less similar. Um, and you can get it in in under 16 hours, you know, at quite a leisurely pace. So it'll be a good one to uh, train with. I've been Craig. Thanks for watching. Try new things. Try being more. I'll see you in the next one.